MRI scan of the lumbar spine of the lower back explained. Majority of the changes seen are normal age-related changes and are not pathological. So Jane, I understand you've had an MRI scan. Um, let us look at your MRI scan. Do you have any concerns before having uh, uh, going to view the MRI scan? Do you have any particular concerns? Yeah, I mean, my, my doctor said my spine is crumbling. I mean, crumbling to me, am I going to be paralyzed? Is that how I'm going to end up? Paralyzed. Right. I'm, I'm really worried about that. Right. Okay. Jane, I don't think your spine is crumbling. I can't. I have had a look at your MRI scans. These are normal changes. And let me let me go through the MRI scans with you so that I can explain the uh, things on the MRI scans and we can take it forward from there. And, you know, and uh, so let me just give me a minute while I share the MRI scans with you. So these were your MRI scans, Jane. I don't know whether you can see your MRI scans. So yes. let me explain before we go through it. This is what is known as a sagittal, and this is what is known as the axial. So when I say sagittal, these are cuts of the spine from front to back. So here, I hope you can see my mouse. This is your okay. tummy or in the front, and this is the very back. So this is the front and all your abdomen or your tummy or your intestines here. And this is the skin on your back. That is how this is aligned. And if I take this cursor and move it to the front to the back, up and down, it moves for different sections going to the left, to the right. And here, now before we go to what the structures, this is the axial or the cross section that is from uh, you know, across the body. So here, the tummy is in the front and this is your skin. So this is looking at it from the, the left image is as if you're looking at the spine from the side. The right image is as if you're looking from down up. And that is how, so the left side is here and this is the right side. And these are the vertebrae. This is the spinal canal. These are the muscles that surround the spine. And this is the skin. And this is a mild amount of fat that is underneath the skin. So that is how the structure is. Now, these two images are interconnected. How do I say it's interconnected? Can you see this yellow line go through? So this yellow line tells me where the axial or the cross section is. So on this side, if as I move my mouse, you can see there is a different cross section and the yellow line seems to go upwards. So now this is the cross section at the higher level. So here, before we again proceed, let me just give you a simple anatomy of the spine. So the spine consists of blocks of bones like this. So these rectangular pieces are the blocks of bones. In between the blocks of bones are the cushions or the intervertebral discs. And behind each block of bone is a ring of bone and all the rings put together form the tunnel. And it's through the tunnel that the spinal cord and the nerves are going through. So this, what I'm pointing out to you is the spinal cord and the white that you can see is the spinal, cerebrospinal fluid or the fluid that surrounds the spinal cord and the nerves. Now, these cushions, when you were young and they were more white in color, with aging, they become slightly dark. You will notice that on this particular scan, water is white in color. As I showed you, this is the fluid around the spinal cord and that is white in color. And similarly, if these cushions when you were much younger were also white in color. But now these are light gray and these last two or three discs are much more darker gray. And that is why someone has told you that they are dehydrated or degenerate. But that is not abnormal at all. You know, this is normal age related changes. Now I know you may not be so, you know, convinced by this, but these are age-related changes. And I will explain why you have the pain. Does that, are you okay with that or? Yes, please, if you yeah. could. Yeah. Now, though, you know, when we say they are age-related changes, people say, no, it is looking so dark, it is bulged out, but it is like this. And I, I'm not being offensive when I say this, and please don't take it any other way. You know, uh, uh, you said to me, you are 58 years of age. Now, yes. uh, again, I'm not being offensive. Your skin doesn't look like baby skin, does it? 
No. Exactly. So your skin or your hair shows your age. So similarly, your spine will show your age. If your skin looks like baby skin, then obviously I want to know the cream that you're using. <laughs> Similarly, if your spine is like a baby spine, I want to know the you know the what food you're eating to make it look like a baby spine. All of oh. us, all of us go through the aging process, and these are just age-related changes. Now, for someone to tell you that this is a crumbling spine is like me telling you you look very old with gray hairs. You know that is a very rude thing to say. Similarly to say when the spine is crumbling, it's a very rude thing to say. So yeah. it is, I take it similarly. So obviously I cannot tell that you're old and you know gray head. Similarly, I can't tell you your, yes, your spine has got age related changes. And I'll explain why you have the back pain. Previously, I told you how the multifidus muscle is affected. Now let us look at this cross section. Now here you can see, these are the muscles that surround the spine. Now, as I told you, there are different layers. The black is the muscle, white is the fat. The multifidus is affected here, and you can see the multifidus is white in color. So the what? The black is the muscle, but the white is a fat. So some part of the multifidus has been transformed into fat, and that is not holding the individual vertebrae together. I agree there is some bulging. You can see that this disc is slightly bulging out. This disc is bulging out more. But even let us come at this level and see. Uh, so I'm going to move the mouse here so that now we are seeing that level. It is directly through the yellow line goes directly through that. Yes, there is some bulge, but there is still some water uh, that is present and the nerves are free. Just because there is a bulge doesn't mean that we need to go and intervene and attack it. It is like if I have a pin in my hand and if I take a pin and press my hand, it is going to be painful. But even if I'm a millimeter away from my finger, it is not going to be painful. So only if it contacts my skin and presses on my skin, will the pin be painful. If I'm even a millimeter away, it is not going to be painful. So say, similarly, if there is reasonable space in the canal, your, the bulge is not going to press on your nerves and you don't need to be worried. Only if there is more pressure, then maybe we need to consider surgery. Otherwise, we can treat it well. In your situation, it is very clear that the multifidus muscle is weak and we need to build up the multifidus muscle. And if we do that, the, the, you know, the uh, uh, disc, uh, the bulge that is there gets better. Now, one of the questions that patients ask is, how will the bulge get better? It mm. is... No, the, the, it, it, let me explain. These discs are like a jam donut. So it's got a jammy part inside and a dowy part outside. So when you have a disc bulge, it is the jam that has come out. And that is why it, sometimes it may press on the nerves. So though the jam has come out, the jam is never going to go back in. But what happens is the body's warrior cells eat away the jam that has come out. And over a period of time, that bulge will get better. That is how this bulges get better. So we need to get the body's warrior cells to go there by exercising, by keeping the muscles around the spine strong, you're going to get a better blood supply there. And by getting a better blood supply there, you're going to make those muscles strong and your pain is going to get better. Does that make sense, uh, Jane? Yes, yes, I, I can see that, especially like you were explaining about the donut and the, the, the spreading out of the jam. I can, I can see that in my head. Sure. So I, I want to reassure you, you are not going to get paralyzed. You're not going to be on a wheelchair. You know, it, right. it, it is just an age related change. And I think uh, we as doctors or health professionals, we need to understand and not worry patients by using terms that, you know, mm -hmm. are, are, are not very helpful. And that is why it is important. We need to reassure you. I, I don't think you, I, you, there is no chance of you being paralyzed, no chance of you being in a wheelchair, but we want to make, do the exercises and make you better. I, I have to say with, the, with those words crumbling, I just thought of a wall and they all falling down and, and just, I would never be able to, to stand up straight or even do anything like that again. 
it, it did it did worry me a lot i understand i understand. thank you for watching our video please subscribe to our channel if you need further information please visit one of the following websites easethespine.com ampat.co.uk and freefrompain.org.uk